All-wheel drive vehicles are all the rage nowadays. They're somewhere in between a two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive. You get maximum handling and ability in tough weather conditions. You can still ride on the beach if you want to. Not really sure if I'd go into rocky terrain with one or not, but if you did get off-road, you would do much better. In this video, we're gonna review some Class B RVs with all-wheel drive. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing, but we also have our website called rvblogger.com that has hundreds of helpful articles all about RVing as well. And in addition to that, we have a free digital video magazine that we put out every single month called RV Camping Magazine. And we also have a private Facebook group called RV Camping for Newbies, where you can join in, ask questions, answer questions, and get to know fellow RVers. We hope you'll take advantage of all these resources, and I'll drop some links in the show notes down below so you can join in on all the fun. In the meantime, let's get started with our video all about Class B RVs with all-wheel drive. This Class B Plus RV is the Thor Compass model number 23TE. It measures in at 23 feet 7 inches long, has an interior height of 6 feet 8 inches, has a max tow capacity of 5,000 pounds, and it can sleep up to two people. When you first walk into this RV, you'll notice that the driver's cab is on the right-hand side. Then it swings around into the living area, which is also a bed and then you've got your entertainment area across from that. And then towards the back of the RV, you have your kitchen area and the bathroom is all the way in the rear. So here I am all the way in the front of this RV and I know what you're thinking. This is not a class B RV in your right, it's a class B plus. But we wanted to include it in the video just to show that there are other options for all wheel drive vehicles and a B plus all wheel drive is certainly one of them. The big advantage to it is you get all of this space that feels like a class C, but technically it's still kind of a class B because of the chassis that it sits on. So we'll call it a B plus and you get the best of all worlds that way. So starting from the front of the RV, the driver's cab area, nice and spacious, very comfortable up here. You can slide your seats back very far, nothing behind you. So if you have longer legs, you'll be able to sit in the driver's seat and still be comfortable while you're driving. The seats do spin all the way around. We spun the passenger seat around so you can see that so that they face towards the back of the RV. You can use these when you're just relaxing or you know, if you have company or you have four people in here, everybody's got a seat. Now overhead, the nice thing with a B plus is the cab does not extend out and over and past the windshield. So when you're driving along, you can have a much better view of the landscape around you. There's a little bit of storage up over here and right now the window shade is closed but there's also a nice big window in this area so you get some extra light inside your Class B RV. Now just behind the driver's cab is where the sofa is and also your bed and this also serves as your dinette so it's very very multifunctional. This is another big advantage of a Class B plus RV because all of this sits in a slide out. So uh, you have extra room in here to make it much more livable and multifunctional. And you've seen a lot of videos that we've done where we're talking about more and more RVs that have no dinette and they're switching over to this type of setup. Another reason for that this setup works so well is, you know, your bed is stowed away and so you're not wasting a quarter of the space in here having a bed in a fixed permanent position. It's in a Murphy bed setup, so it really, really works out well. So you can sit here on the couch and you can watch the TV, which is located straight ahead, or underneath of these seat cushions, you can lift them up and your dinette table's located under here. So you can set it up right in front of your couch and this becomes your dinette. TV straight ahead, so you can have a meal, watch TV, whatever you'd like to do, or just look out the windows. It's, it's just really great setup. And finally, you can turn this into your bed. Very easy to do that. You just remove the back seat covers and they each kind of slide in position on each side of the couch. So that's really nice. It's the best setup I've seen in a long time for that. You just pull a pin out and then the bed opens right Don't up. Don't forget the legs. Oh yeah. 
Thanks. Sorry about that. You got to pull these legs out. I forget that all the time. And then you lower down your Murphy bed and that's where you sleep at night. So it's a terrific setup. There's even a couple of cabinets behind there for additional storage. And then of course there's a window there too. So, you know, whatever in the morning or whatever, if you want some extra light when you wake up, you can do that. Now, the nice thing about these legs are that they're on a little bit of a, you know, a piston shock absorber. So unlike other legs that sort of just flop out of nowhere, these are nice and under control. They snap into place really, really well well made and then this just goes up and clicks back into position you put your sofa cushions back on and you are good to go so here we are right across from the sofa bed dinette area and this is kind of the entertainment center area so you've got cabinets overhead really good amount of space in there with some shelving and they are lit up as well Below that, we have a Televator here. Now, we're at the dealership and they have disengaged the Televator, so I cannot raise it up for you. As you can imagine, they don't want 10,000 people, you know, raising and lowering a television. So, but it's right here and it would raise right up. So it's perfect position to watch from your couch. And then down below that, you've got all this cabinet space, even some other drawers located down below. So just lots and lots of storage in here. Just beyond the entertainment center is where the kitchen is located. And you'll notice that you've got lots of storage up top of the kitchen counter. And then you have a really nice, deep, single bowl round sink in here. That's just a ton of space for doing dishes. And then it's got a sprayer that pulls out of the faucet. And there's a little weight on there that got hung up a little bit, but that's no big deal. That happens from time to time. You have a tower of power here behind, so you can plug in any kitchen appliances you might have, toaster, coffee pot, whatever you might have. And then you have a two burner stove here as well. Just below the stove, we have a convection microwave oven, which is very convenient. Big giant drawer down here for pots and pans below that. Then you have another bank of drawers for all your utensils. And then finally, a cabinet door, which is where you hide your trash can. Directly across from that, we have the refrigerator. And I think Susan and I should switch spots so you can see this better. So the refrigerator opens, and it's a good size refrigerator in here for this size RV. And then, of course, you have a little freezer area up top for all your ice cubes. And then down below that, you have additional drawer space. These are really nice size drawers. And then next to that, oh, my fingers got stuck in there. <laughs> this is a wardrobe closet. They've got all of the seat cushions and, uh, you know, uh, comforter for the bed and all that stuff in here now. Um, but plenty of room for things that you would, might want to hang up. And then you have additional drawer space below. So here we are all the way in the back of this Class B Plus RV. And the whole entire length of the back, or width of the back, I should say, is where the bathroom is located. So it's a really good sized bathroom. Uh, I'm standing in the shower right now, and the skylight is over my head. So you have to step up into the shower a little bit, um, but your headroom in here is, wow, we're gonna call this six feet, eight inches, almost nine inches. So plenty of room for taking a shower in here. Nice little shower wand that pulls off. It's got an on and off switch right on the shower head so you can efficiently take a shower. And then it's got a beautiful medicine cabinet, very, very nice sized. Below that, you have a kitchen sink. Or I'm sorry, bathroom. bathroom sink. And then below that, you have closed and open storage. Susan and I just traded spots, so now she's standing in the shower and I'm sitting on the commode. That did not sound good at all, but here I am. So above me here to my right, you have uh, some additional storage cabinetry, some open storage next to me here, and actually behind me as well. As far as the elbow test goes, eh, it's not 100%, but I'm still very, very comfortable sitting here. And one really nice feature that Thor uses are these sliding doors. Uh, and so that way, it's not quite a pocket door, but it is a sliding door, and it certainly helps to maximize floor space inside the RV. This Class B RV is the Coachman Beyond, model number 22D. It measures in at 22 feet, 2 inches long, has an interior height of 6 feet, 3 inches, can tow up to 5,000 pounds, and it can sleep up to two people. I am loving this Class B RV. Come on in and check it out. 
So when you first walk in up front in the driver's cab, the first thing you'll notice is that it's built on a Ford chassis. It's got a big Ford logo on the steering wheel, can't miss it. Ford Transit, very, very popular for camper vans or Class B RVs that are out there. It's got a very comfortable driving area. The dashboard itself has lots of nooks and crannies to store things. Very comfortable fit and finish. The chairs do swivel around and face towards the back of this coach. And also you'll notice over top of the driver and passenger's heads, there's even more little nooks and crannies to store things up here. And then above that, you've got this little door with even more storage in there. One more thing to mention up front is that when the chairs do swivel around, there's a spot here for a table to mount. So you can use your driver and passenger chairs as a workstation or as your dinette table and chairs. Now the Ford Transit vans come in different heights. They have, a, I believe it's a medium and a higher height. I think this is the higher height one because headspace in here, I've got six feet, six inches. As you guys know, I'm 5'11", plenty of space over top of my head. Now directly behind me here is where the bathroom is located. This is a mid bath and so, but it's nice the way both of these doors open. It really gives you full access to the whole bathroom. If you just wanted to stand in here and brush your teeth or look in the mirror and get ready in the morning, you don't have to stand just completely in the bathroom to look in the mirror. You know, you can kind of use the space, stand in and out at the same time. You've got a nice sink here in the corner, really nice shower head over top. And then of course your commode here, it's a little on the smaller side, but I think I could actually shut the doors while I'm in here. Yes, you can. I don't have to leave. <laughs> Susan, you can stay. Um, but while you're in here, you know, it's a decent size uh, space. And also you'll notice there's a curtain here. So when you're in here taking a shower, you would simply pull the curtain across so you don't get any water out and into the coach. So very conveniently located right over top of the side door is where all of your electrical controls and panels are. So you can operate everything in here very efficiently and easily. When we, as we work our way back into the kitchen, overhead, you've got, you know, a couple of really nice big size cabinets here so you can store things away. And I, I like that they're carpeted. Oh yeah, that's a nice feature. Yeah, that way if things are rattling around in here, they're a little quieter, Yes. right? like that a lot when we roll down the road man all the sound of like everything jiggling is it just drives us nuts but uh, the carpet definitely helps to dampen that sound now below that we've got an induction cooktop and a nice little spice rack here built onto the wall that's a very nice feature this is a dish drain and also a countertop cover and then you've got a round single bowl sink here nice big gooseneck faucet overhead and then i really like this paper towel holder um, because it's got this anti i guess anti-circular motion i know one problem we have when we drive down the road if we forget to take our paper towels down, they just unroll as we drive down the road. True Always story. a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got nice sized drawers in here. This would be for all of your utensils since it's so shallow. Little deeper drawer and then another even deeper drawer below that. And then you've got a little flip out here. You can put a kitchen sponge and things like that in here. And then it's got this trash can cabinet. You could put another can in here, I think. Maybe a smaller one maybe or you could store trash bags and things in here, um, but it's a great place to store and stow away your trash can. Now, directly across from the kitchen is where the microwave is located. It's a small microwave, but it's fine for a coach this size. You can get a plate in there, no problem. Then you've got a refrigerator with a separate freezer, which we always like and think that's a great idea. You know, you have a nice amount of storage in there for a coach that this size. It even has a little locking mechanism here. So when you're rolling down the road, your door won't fly open. Definitely no fun when that happens either. And then of course you've got your freezer down below. I like the setup because you use the fridge more than the freezer. So it should be up higher where it's more convenient. Down below though, it's got a place for all of your ice trays and things like that, or put an ice bin in here. And then the rest of the freezer is available for other frozen items. One other nice feature here in the kitchen is the Max X power fan. These fans are great. They're not like the little fans that you might see in the bathroom of other motorhomes with the little six inch fan blade. These babies really move some air. So you can open up your doors, close your screens, turn on the fan and really pull some air through here. 
so you can stay nice and cool. One other thing in the kitchen is also this pantry cabinet with shelving built in. You can adjust the height of the shelves or you can remove the shelves in here and use it as a wardrobe cabinet. So here I am in the very back of this Class B RV and we decided to shoot it from the back doors in so you can see the whole area. Now, this area has two very comfy couches that come back here. There's also a lagoon table that fits right in below me here and that would pop up. So you could use this as a little dinette area. You could use it as a little workstation area, whatever you'd like to do. Another nice feature is that you can use this as two separate twin beds or you can put all four tables that come with this RV in place that go across here and then the, the back cushions lay in the middle and you can make this a really nice big bed back here. And when you do that, this bed measures in at about 68 inches long. So that's only five feet, eight inches. And then across, you're looking at about somewhere in the neighborhood of 70 inches wide. So it's a little bit short as far as I'm concerned on sleeping space back here. You might have to sleep at a bit of a diagonal, something like that. Um, also, you'll note back here, uh, there's a spot under the floor here. And this is where your lagoon table stows away. And also the table that would go up front between the driver and the passenger seats. And then there's two more tabletops that fit under the floor that you would pull out to put all four tabletops in place to complete your bed. You'll also notice back here, there's a nice TV on a swivel arm. You've got your electrical receptacles and power charging and all that stuff back here as well. So you can charge your phones, your cables back here and all that stuff. You've also got speakers overhead, night lights overhead, and even more storage up top as well. And then of course you have a separate um, radio that you can use for inside or outside of your coach. I also like the built-in cup holders. Yeah, these are pretty cool. And uh, they, they're actually metal inside, and but you could put a drink in here and it will not spill over. So that's a really nice feature Unless you too. do that. Unless you go like that, yeah, that, would be, <laughs> that would be bad. One last feature in here is there's a screen door that shuts very nice so you can lay in bed and enjoy the nice fresh air. This Class B RV is the Chinook Bayside, model number DB. It measures in at just 19 feet, eight inches long, has an interior height of six feet, four inches, tow capacity is 5,000 pounds, and it can sleep up to two people. When you walk into this RV on the right-hand side, you've got the driver's cab area, which wraps right around to the sofa and bed. Then you go through the kitchen area and in the very rear of this RV is where the dry bath is located. So here I am all the way at the front of this RV and uh, starting with the driver's cab, the first thing you'll notice up here is that it's on a Ford Transit chassis. It's got Ford right on the steering wheel, so we know it's a Ford. And it's a very nice spacious driving cab area for sure. Up top here, you have some nooks and crannies for some additional storage and the seats are very plush, very, very comfortable. They do spin around so that they can face the back of the RV as well. Just behind the driver's seat is where your sofa and bed are located. Uh, I wanna take these little pillows and throw them out the window, but Susan said they look nice for presentation, right, honey? That's right. Yeah. So anyway, this is where your sofa is, and it feels really nice and spacious in here. It just gives a good feel. The sofa's nice and comfortable. It's right across from the TV, but then this also does convert into your bed area. And this is an electronic bed, so it's really nice and simple to do. Just push the button and it just unfolds right into a bed. And you just squish your, squish your cushions down a little bit. And there you go. Now, one feature that it does have is that these end armrests do pull off and that way you have a little extra room when you're sleeping here and you don't have this armrest or the other one in your way. And uh, if we get a measurement here, total length of the bed uh, is 72 inches and then width you're looking at about uh, 48 inches. So two people can sleep here, but you're gonna be snuggled up 
nice and cozy. Over top of your sofa slash bed, you've got some really nice size storage cabinets up here. Now located directly across from the couch and bed is where the TV is located here. Next to that, you've got your control panels and everything. So everything's conveniently located. But I do wanna point out one thing. The TV sort of hangs in front of the door opening here. So when you're walking in, you know, you want to make sure you don't hit this corner with your head, but it's in the best spot where they could put the TV and still have a decent sized TV for you to watch. So here I am in the kitchen area and you'll notice that you've got a really decent sized sink in here. I like the color of, of the countertop in here. It's really a neat, a neat design and a neat color. The faucet of course is a sprayer as well. So that serves two functions and then you've got a nice induction cooktop here that's built in down below that we have a nice big bank of drawers they're not very deep but underneath at the bottom one it does go back much further underneath your kitchen sink you've got more space under here as well over top of the kitchen is another big bank of cabinets above and these run the whole entire length they're open in between so you can store all kinds of stuff up here all right, directly across from the kitchen sink is where your microwave and refrigerator are located. But first, above that, you've got a nice big storage area right above the microwave. The microwave itself is a microwave convection oven, by the way. And then, of course, your refrigerator is down below. Decent sized fridge for a Class B RV. And then it even has a separate ice area up top. Just past the kitchen microwave and refrigerator, you've got three really nice cabinets here. One of them uh, is big enough to serve as a wardrobe cabinet, but there's no bar at the top, so I guess you'd have to put a tension rod or something in there. Across from that, you've got a nice bank of drawers over here, and these are very nice quality drawers. So here I am all the way at the back of this Class B RV, and I'm standing inside the shower. And as you know, I'm 5'11", and there's probably three inches over my head. So if you're 6'2 or less, you'll be fine in this shower. This is a really good size shower for a dry bath back here. I mean, you got plenty of room. It's got this nice retractable shower door, which I really like instead of a curtain. And then it's got two shower heads. So honey, there's room in here for both of us to take a shower. <laughs> It's really bizarre that there's two shower heads here. One of them is fixed and then the other one's removable. And I'm guessing that if you want to take a shower outside, you know, you can just pull the cord and stand outside and use the shower wand. I'm really not sure why they would have two. I would think you could just have this one and use it either inside or outside. But anyway, they have two. So there you go. Now, it's great that this RV has a dry bath, but where is the toilet? Well, very ingeniously hidden away underneath of this countertop space. You just slide it on over and that's where your commode is located. And you know, this is a very, very comfortable spot. I almost have great elbow room space, good room on the right hand side, not so much on the left, but it's still a terrific location for your bathroom. Now there's also an optional or an add on curtain that comes with this unit. So you can put a curtain across and block off the bathroom from the front part of this Class B RV. So all in all, great design, terrific dry bath, and uh, very comfortable. Now that you've seen our video all about Class B RVs with all-wheel drive, there's only three things left to do. Hit that thumbs up button for us. Please subscribe to our channel. And finally, just click the box down below so you can watch another one of our videos all about Class B RVs. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.